hello viewers welcome to learners region so what we are going to see in this video definition of flowchart basics flowchart symbols examples advantages of flowchart and limitation of flowchart so let's begin with definition a flowchart is a pictorial representation of an algorithm programmers often use it as a program planning tool for visually organizing a sequence of steps necessary to solve a problem using a computer it uses boxes of different shapes to denote different types of instructions programmers write actual instructions within these boxes using clear and concise statements let's see the basic flowchart symbols so the first one is terminal symbol second input output box third process box fourth decision box fifth flow lines and last connectors terminal symbol indicates the beginning start the end stop and pause halt in a program's logic flow it is the first and last symbol in a flow chart input output symbol indicates all program instructions to input output from any type of input output device and storage device process represents arithmetic data movement instruction and all type of calculating operations decision box is a decision point where a branch to one of two or more alternative paths is possible flow lines indicate flow of operation which is the sequence of execution of instructions normal flow of flow chart is from top to bottom and left to right When a flow chart spreads over more than one page it is useful to utilize connector symbols as a substitute for flow lines this symbol represents an entry from or an exit to another part of flow chart let's have an example draw a flow chart to add any two given numbers so we start flow chart and end flow chart with terminal symbols always other symbols are depend as per question requirement in this question firstly we need to take two numbers to perform addition so we use input symbol to read the value and put the message in input symbol read the value for a and b that is for number 1 and number 2 now we need to perform add operation so this statement neither an input nor output statement but it represents an arithmetic operation therefore we put it inside process box next task is to print the value of addition so we need output box to show the addition so print sum and stop the program we have another example to find the greater number between two numbers so in this question we need to take a decision to find out whether number 1 or number 2 is greater so we need a decision box start with terminal symbol take input as usual and check which number is greater so the condition is a is greater than b if the condition is true the uh, then the print a is greater number otherwise b is greater number connect the flow with connector and stop flow chart with terminal symbol in same manner we can make flow chart of any program now let's see the advantages of flow chart so the first advantage of uh, flow chart is better communication flow chart gives us better communication between program and programmers effective analysis with the help of flow chart we can analyze the program effectively proper program documentation flow chart help us to make proper program documentation efficient coding flow chart provides us to do code efficiently systematic debugging it makes debugging easy and systematic and also makes testing easy now this is time to limitation of flow chart so flow chart are very time consuming and laborious to draw with proper symbols and spacing there are no standard for determining the amount of detail 
that should be included in a flow chart. Redrawing or modifying a flow chart being a tedious task. If you found this video beneficial for you, so please subscribe, like, share and comments. Thanks for watching this video.